All right, so Smyrna Dunes Park. It's like 15 minutes from here. And the ocean's way, well, I'm less than four miles from the ocean, but the beach access, but probably way closer to the ocean, but it would have been a lot easier just to go to the beach. <laughs> it's like God was telling us over and over. So we went Tuesday. Worst case scenario, just to scope it out. I got problems walking because I got the MS stuff and damage from it. So I wouldn't be able to walk all that much. And we heard that, Heather and I, we heard that there's a boardwalk that goes like four and a half miles around this Dunas, Smyrna Dunes Park. So like, oh no. So we went out there, we walked it, and we did probably a tenth to a quarter mile. And we're like, no, this is not going to work. We got to go back and get the scooter if I can show it to you. <laughs> it's, it's covered up my towel right now a little bit. It's still kind of drying. Going to the beach and swimming pool. So we're going to come back Wednesday. Today's the... Yeah, today's the 8th of September 2024. Wednesday, it rained. No, it didn't happen. Thursday, it rained all day. <laughs> Friday... It rained. So we're like, well, when are we going to get back to the, any kind of beach now? It's just, something's telling us not to do this. It's Saturday, yesterday, today's Sunday. We get there. Before we even get there, we get to Flagler Avenue. Part of it's closed. So there's probably going to be a lot more people at Smyrna Dunes Park than just driving up. You can literally drive on the beach, like in Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach, Daytona Beach Shores, Ponce Inlet, New Smyrna Beach. So maybe there won't be as many people driving on the beach. Instead, they'll be going to Smyrna Dunes Park. And then another cool thing is we got some favor, okay, because I got the handicap placard we get in for free. Otherwise, it's ten dollars. So Tuesday we got in free, and then of course yesterday we got in free. So there's a detour on Flagler Avenue. Then we go down New North Peninsula. Some issues have happened. We pulled off on our way to the park. Saw that a really cool park though. Maybe we should stay here because God's like telling us stop, stop, stay right here. We still gotta go check out that park. If that reminds me. So anyway. We got to Smyrna Dunes Park. <laughs> I want to go check out one little spot. So I go and go and go and go and go. And I just posted that video yesterday. It just goes and goes and goes seemingly to nowhere. <laughs> so I've had it. I'm like, you know what? It's just going to keep going and going and going. I turn around. Come back. Heather's laying down because she's not feeling too well. I'm picnic table <laughs> looking all hot and sexy as it usually does right she she looks down she says you better watch yourself there there's ants I'm like ants what are you talking about I can't see I'm blind well, I can see to get around on my scooter which is dangerous there's red ants not just on the concrete I thought it was only on that concrete but everywhere we ended up going to the main beach area, which we could have just driven up there. This Smyrna Dunes Park is a joke. So we we wanted to go find some seashells. Where are the most seashells we can find? Google. Google's always right, right? So could be. I mean, Google said, or according to somebody through Google, that there's a lot of seashells there. So we'll go hit it up. We get there. There's no none, none. <laughs> I thought maybe in that area where we're going on the beach, Atlantic Ocean Beach, there'd be a lot of seashells. 
None. <laughs> None. I mean, like, the little small ones. We, we have gotten... Much bigger ones. I mean, I can just show you a few of them right now. This one's heavy, too. That's just the first one I grabbed. This is not from Smyrna Dunes Park, okay? They're all over the apartment here. Another pretty one right here, too. Got cups full and glasses full. Had us into collecting seashells. So we're gonna go collect seashells. Well, we didn't get any seashells at Smyrna Dunes Park. <laughs> we got ants, red ants, red ants. Not we're only we're ants. Oh, it's beautiful outside right now. Wow. It's clear. It's rare right now because it's been raining hard. Like all day long. You know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yesterday. At around 4.30 and the rest of the day. I mean, this is tropical weather at its finest right now in Florida. So... I finally think, okay, well, the ants won't be as much of a problem on the boardwalk. So I, I got back on the boardwalk off the concrete where, where we were. I'm riding to the beach. <sighs> on my way there, I heard some young guys say, there's red ants all over the place, red ants. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. So I don't know what these ants were, why, why they were all over the place. There must have been something attracting them to where everybody was walking or something. So, I said to the guys, I said, red ants, where? I was like, everywhere, just look down. So I couldn't get off the, the, um, the floorboard of the scooter because then I'll get attacked by ants. <laughs> it's like when God's getting your attention. There's one part the dog park, which is on the north side of this little inlet. This, I think it's called Smyrna Beach Inlet. It might be Ponce Inlet. I can't really tell. But, um, yeah, there, there, there might be, there very likely like will be more uh, seashells around the, that south part where it just kind of like, everything just kind of gets thrown into the shore it's hard to say we didn't check it out I, I i went down that way on the north side we, we ended up going on the east side of the park beautiful park beautiful dunes definitely palm trees it's natural it's native well the palm trees can't be native because no palm trees are native in florida i don't know where they came from <laughs> but it's cool that's undeveloped too that's nice that's the nice things I can say about it. Otherwise, thumbs down. <laughs>